Let's talk about AI. Everybody's talking about AI, but people are talking about the actual software interacting with AI. What can AI do? I was interested in what does it take hardware wise? This is a hardware channel. What does it take hardware wise to do AI? I really don't know. And so um, I've learned a lot and I thought it was time to educate people and point them to some places maybe to educate themselves. So I think people understand that you need a special computer. A lot like graphics video games needed graphic cards that were really, really powerful. And these graphic cards didn't have microprocessors. They had what are called GPUs, these generalized purpose units that can do things in parallel because you're ray tracing a million rays in, in, in a video game real time. You, you need you need horsepower to do that, these GPUs. And NVIDIA was one of those companies who was already doing graphics things and they had built some um, devices that were good to use for AI as well. You could repurpose them to do languages and have a whole bunch in parallel. So how many, how many GPUs do you need? Um, well, uh, in the early days of AI, you might need a thousand, two thousand, five thousand, something like that. But today you need a lot more. Things are getting more sophisticated. So a lot of the information is still kind of under wraps. It's all kind of secret stuff, but there is information out there now and we can talk about that. So, um, so GPU, what is a GPU? Well, it's, it's, it's fancier and bigger than you might think. So we're going to talk about the, uh, the NVIDIA, uh, GPU and, um, how it comes. So you get it in this kind of little package that's got like this giant chip, right? It's a big piece of silicon and it has some interconnects and stuff. And so you need to like put some of those together. All right. And so um, if you're familiar with a rack of equipment, a 19 inch rack of equipment, all right, um, we are going to uh, split that up. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need eight of them. Okay. So they come eight to a rack. Okay. So this is a full rack and we have eight units. Each one of these units contains eight GPUs. Eight GPUs. Okay. Now, uh, the eight GPUs are all interconnected with one another and they have a bunch of support circuitry and stuff. They get really, really, really hot. So they're going to have to have water cooling. Uh, air cooling is not good enough. So they're going to have to have water cooling. So each unit on the front has spigots, has, has, has water spigots, an input spigot and an output spigot. So when you slide this thing into the rack, you also connect the hose. So hose going in, hose going out, and now you have eight GPUs. Okay, in a rack, we can have eight of these things. So we have 64 per, per rack, okay? 64 GPUs per rack, GPUs. Okay, that's a big rack, okay? So, um, they get really, really hot because they require a lot of power. We keep talking about, uh, microprocessors and stuff, you know, tens of amps, hundreds of amps. Well, one rack, one rack consumes 100 kilowatts of power, one rack, 100 kilowatts of power. Okay. So let that sink in. Um, and that is really just to run the rack. The water goes out to cooling systems and stuff. That energy is not included. This is just to run the rack. Okay. And the GPUs 
by themselves don't do anything. You have to have computers that talk to the GPUs and then the GPUs talk to other computers. So there's an input section that fans out and an output section that fans and those aren't included in this 100 kilowatts. All right, so we're gonna talk about one installation that is fairly public, not entirely public, but fairly public, called XAI, okay, x.ai. It is uh, by the X company, previously uh, Twitter. Uh, so, so Elon Musk wanted to build a supercomputer and so he built a, a, a computer that he calls Colossus. And Colossus has 100,000 GPUs, okay? So he wanted to build a 100,000 GPU computer. So he looked around for some land and he found it in Memphis, Tennessee. So he, he built a computer in Memphis and kind of without permits and kind of without the public knowing about it. Anyway, it suddenly appeared one day and it, it is a 100,000 GPU. So one rack, remember one rack is 64 GPUs. So how many racks do you need to get to 100,000? Well, you need one, five, six, three. You need 1,500 racks of these to get to this. 1,563 racks each consume 100 kilowatts, okay? And if you add that all up, you get 156.3 megawatts, okay? And remember, that's just for the GPUs. There's a whole bunch of other things. And you can basically very, very, very conservatively, you could say you need 200, you need 200 megawatts of power. I think that's lowballing it. I think it's going to be, it's going to be much, much higher than that. It's probably more likely to be around 300 megawatts to do everything. And then depending on what else you have going on, you might need a little bit more than that. Okay. So how much is 156 megawatts? Okay. A average city with a hundred thousand people is about that much. So you're looking at about a two hundred thousand population city, the energy consumed by a city. So bigger than Santa Clara, the city that I live in, um, bigger than Boulder, Colorado, big you know, it's consuming that much power. Um yeah. So, um, where do you get that power? Okay. We're talking a quarter of a gigawatt, right? How do you get a quarter of a gigawatt? You're not just going to go plug in someplace. It's not going to work. So Elon figured that out. He goes, oh yeah, we're not going to, we're not, we, we can't do that. So we need, we need, we need to jumpstart it. We need our own power generation. They're talking about these days of putting in their own nuclear nuclear power plant just for a data center. One power plant, which would be about a gigawatt of power for a, a data center. Okay, this is already a quarter, quarter gigawatt. So, uh, and we'll get to, it's a lot more than that. Okay, so he bought 35 turbines. Now these turbines generate a lot of power and they're basically for places that don't have power and they're mostly more like an emergency thing. He basically bought up the supply of turbines that are laying around and his 35 turbines will generate 420 megawatts. Okay. They've done some investigation and at least 33 of the turbines are running right now, okay? And so he's generating a lot of power. So, um, a 100 GPU system is not the end all. Um, this is what Grok uses, okay? 
in order to to do the training you have a hundred thousand gpus this is grok um he bought some land next door happened to be in mississippi this time but it's pretty close and um that facility is going to be 200,000 200,000 gpus okay and uh people are talking about 1 million gpu systems for the next training exercise so um i just wanted to bring it to people's attentions i'm going to put a link down below of a video that was released on the tour of the Colossus impl implementation, the XAI plant. The, they did a nice video on touring that plant and you can see it for yourself. Um, but anyway, it was a little bit mind boggling to me on how much is required. Now, you can't put 1500 GPUs in one building. It doesn't even fill in a building. You can't get the power in and out on what you have to do. So you actually build a building, okay? And then you start building buildings around it. And you, you build buildings in a circle because you're going to interconnect all of these. Um, each rack has 256 fiber optics going in and out of it. And then the rack to racks and it keeps multiplying and the, all of the other computers that fan in and fan out. You have thousands and thousands and thousands of fiber optics that have to go everywhere. And this system here is all connected with fiber optics. And uh, I've been told that these buildings need to be within one kilometer of each other. Okay. So that's the way these systems are now being constructed is not just one site, but multiple sites. And these aren't large enough now. So uh, they talk about, I don't remember the terminology now. I wish I did. They talk about the interconnection between the GPUs being a short little short jump, and then from rack to rack being a, a bigger jump, and then from building to building being a bigger jump, and then it's city to city, and then it's continent to continent. And so a lot of the new AI has specialized GPUs. So maybe one GPU is good at certain things, certain tasks. And so when a request comes in, it can parse it out. It can say, okay, I'm going to give this to a particular task. And the latency isn't a big deal because it's a chunk. It's a parson parsonable person. Anyway, it's a chunk that you can cut out. Uh, parsable, right? Yeah. That you can send out somewhere else. So that might be sent to Norway and crunched and then brought back or something, right? So these, these big, huge data centers will appear everywhere and people will be starting to share and stuff. Um, so anyway, I hope uh, you learned something if you didn't know about it already. Uh, 100,000, 200,000, 1 million GPU systems, 1 gigawatt of power. These are their entire cities being built and consuming a lot of the Earth's energy and temperature warming and all that other kind of stuff. There you go.